Hi again, it's Kurt from City Campus, and I'm glad you joined us here for our uh, series on fleece moments. And today's kind of an anti-fleece moment. It's a time when Jesus um, refused to give a sign. Uh, so in just a minute, we'll get into our study, but I hope you'll share or subscribe, depending on how you're watching today. And um, you want your friends to be able to see this, and they can't see it unless you hit share. If you hit like, they might see it, but probably if you hit share, they'll definitely get a chance to see it. And if you think that this would be worth it for them, well, then that's what you want to do, right? You definitely want to hit share if you want to see people on your timeline to see it. Um, they might need to know this message. It's the message of Jesus saying, don't you trust me? And we're going through these fleece moments this week, these times when signs were a part of it. And today we're talking about Jesus refusing to give the sign they wanted from Matthew chapter 16. And I'll just say about this, we'll read it in just a second. Trust Jesus, you see. And when he gives you sign after sign after sign after sign after sign, there were so many in the New Testament of his mighty power, his saving power. Stop asking for signs and take the road towards them. We want so much out of Jesus, and he gives everything, but then we still go, oh, could I just have one more? Could, I just, could you just prove yourself one more time to me? Jesus' religious opponents always wanted Jesus to prove himself one more time. And we always want him to prove him. We always want him to prove himself to us one more time. But Jesus is not a puppet to make it to make dance for whatever we want, right? You know, that one of the things I hear I hear people say, you know, you can create your reality. I'm like, it's crazy. Jesus is not your puppet. He's a mighty God. He's the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That should be sign enough for us. And for the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 16, let's read that. One day the Pharisees and Sadducees, you see the Sadducees were sad, you see, because they didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead. That's a whole nother sermon. Came to test Jesus, demanding that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven to prove his authority. Like he hadn't already done this like 60 times. He replied, I love this. I just love this. You know the saying, red sky at night means fair weather tomorrow. Red sky in the morning means foul weather all day. You probably heard it said this way. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. You see how old that phrase is. You know how to interpret the weather signs in the skies, but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times. Only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I'm going to give them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. Then Jesus left them and went away. And of course, you know, the sign of the prophet Jonah is when Jonah was killed, buried in the whale for three, for several days, and then came back to life. So I think that's a pretty interesting uh, analogy to Jesus. Well, we're kind of getting towards the end of our Fleece Moments series. And I hope for you that this has been useful. We're going to have a great final one tomorrow, so uh, make sure you're with us then. Father, uh, we thank you for signs that, from heaven. Whether those signs are come from friends, whether those signs come from the Bible, whether those signs are just signs we see that make us turn down the road towards you, um, we're thankful for them. And uh, we pray that we'll um, watch for them, and we pray that we'll listen to uh, the direction that they send us in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, hope you have an amazing day. And again, remember hit share and subscribe. We'll see you later.